हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू मेक डेट्स जलेबी आर फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू मेक द जलेबी बैटर मिक्स हाफ कप ऑफ कर्ड विथ वन कप ऑफ फ्लावर और मैदा नाउ दिस स्टेप शुड बी डन अ नाइट बिफोर यू स्टार्ट टू मेक योर डेट्स जलेबी दिस स्टेप इज रिक्वायर्ड टू फर्मेंट योर जलेबी बैटर Now as you can see I haven't added a whole of my flour into the mix. I'm going to whisk it well to add air to my batter. add a little water to the batter so that there are no lumps in the batter i'm using the same cup in which i had my curd in and then i'm going to continue whisking it make sure that you adjust the amount of water that goes into the batter your final consistency should not be too thick nor too runny Now that your batter has been mixed well, cover it with a cling foil and store it overnight for fermentation. Now for our next step, we are going to make the sugar syrup. Add 2 cups of sugar to 2 cups of water. Use a heavy wooden pan with a large mouth. Now on a high flame, dissolve your sugar by by stirring it constantly. After the sugar has been dissolved, take a lemon and cut the two ends of it. Add these two wedges into the syrup and continue boiling it. Now this process will help you in removing any scum if there exists. You can also replace the lemon with milk. Keep checking your syrup for one string consistency. Touch a very little part of your spoon with index finger and thumb. Now my syrup is ready. As you can see there is one string consistency. Now if any scum is formed in your syrup then please remove it with the help of a ladle. Scum is the impurity from the sugar which floats on top of your syrup. Also remove the lemon wedges. Now our next step is to prepare our dates. I have taken about 15 dates right now. These dates have seeds in them which are to be removed. Also, I am going to cut them into half to get the most out of them. You can buy the seedless dates as well and make your dates jalebi. Now my dates are ready. Take your jalebi batter and remove the cling foil. As you can see the batter has been fermented. Now I'm going to take a pinch of orange color and add to the batter. Give it a nice whisk and obtain the yellow color out of it. You can see the consistency of my batter. It is not too thick, not too runny. Now take your dates and dip them into batter and on a medium flame put it in the oil. The oil shouldn't be too hot as you want to make your dates crispy. Now slowly flip your dates to the other side. Make sure that they are evenly fried on both the sides. Now transfer your dates into the sugar syrup. Make sure that the sugar syrup is not too hot because in my process the sugar has been cooled down and it is not too cold it is just warm. Cover your dates with the sugar syrup all over them. 
Let it rest for about 2 to 3 minutes. As you can see, the dates have a glossy texture on the outside. The dates had a crunchy coating which was juicy and moist from the inside. Trust me guys, you are going to love this.